Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekend love tarot reading for February 25th through the 27th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you. Little uh, weekend love tarot reading here. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You can flip, switch, reverse anytime you need to. Cross watchers, it could be a reading or messages for you. Keep that in mind. Welcome in, Aquarius. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you do need to know, Aquarius, if you're new here about me is down below in the description box your playlists are down there all your february readings are out as well and if you are new here i do eight readings a month to a week you get a weekly reading which is a little bit longer and then you get these shorter uh, weekend love tower readings and feel free to go to the community tab uh, lots of polls over there to vote on i've been posting one daily as well all right aquarius let's see what's going on for you the messenger Hmm, somebody's either giving you, I'm feeling almost like someone is giving you a message in regards to somebody else, if that makes any sense. Hmm, interesting. All right, we have High Priestess of Fire. We have five, which is either challenge or change, but fire, you know, that could be Leo Sag Aries energy. Fire is very fiery, passionate, go-getter. Uh, very inspired, creative, a lot of ideas, inspiration. Um, it's a go-getter of the energy. It's all about drive, ambition, goals. And we have a failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Someone, I feel like someone, because it could be here that maybe um, they're afraid that you won't hear them out or there's been no communication so they may be um, having someone speak to you on behalf of them in a way because maybe you know maybe saying you know what I'm done I don't want to hear it so maybe somebody else is going to speak on their behalf to you to let them know that um, they made a mistake they or they feel like a failure and uh, they want to like fiery do-over maybe they want to change things all right especially if it was just hot fiery passionate before and then maybe that's what failed i don't know let's see let's see what's going on here aquarius five of swords oh my goodness yeah someone sabotaged something and they realize that now page of pentacles so that's the messenger could be earth sign for me that is uh capricorn it could be taurus virgo or capricorn what else here for Aquarius? Oh my goodness. Four of Swords in Reverse. Somebody is tired of being in stagnant mode now, being uh, in retreat mode. Queen of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So we have Aries energy here. Someone definitely, I heard, wants to come out of hiding. I don't know what that means. Or they're tired of being in separation or being uh, in hermit mode or whatever it is here. They're stressed and nervous about this. And this Queen of Wands, it maybe could be um, the messenger. That's Aries. So we do have fire and I felt that. I might clarify that just to see. Ten of Pentacles. Wealth, abundance, growth, expansion, long term. That could be marriage or commitment. You know, maybe somebody was stressed about, you know, being committed or... Um, you know, establishing that eight of swords. Yeah, somebody could have been stuck in their head about that. Like, mm, I don't know if I want to be committed or tied down. It's kind of what I feel. Seven of cups. So a little um, illusionment here. Confusion. So let's just clarify this queen of wands. I want to see. I feel like this is the person um, giving you a message on behalf of this person or something to that effect. Oh my God, the lovers, Gemini. So <clears throat> it could be this person themselves, but I'm almost feeling, let's clarify the messenger. I'm almost feeling like um, 
somebody else. Uh, let's see. Six of Wands, Success, and Victory. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. Oh my goodness. <sighs> let's clarify the high uh, high priestess of fire. Page of Wands. So there, there's the communication. Yep. Good news, communication um, coming in here. So the messenger here, I feel, is this Queen of Wands about a love situation, a lover. I don't feel like it was a third party necessarily. I feel like it could be just, I don't know, a friend of a friend or something like that. Um, that somebody wants success in the brand new beginning in love here. Let's clarify this five of, uh, seven of cups, seven of swords. Wow. Somebody, I feel like, um, five of wands, conflict, the devil coming out of toxicity, leaving negative energies behind, leaving illusionment behind. We have Capricorn here, conflict, confusion, running out of fear, leaving that all behind now, the devil in reverse. Four of Cups, there is a worry here that it will be a failure or it won't be received. But there's a decision here. Someone's thought long and hard about this, the hangman, Pisces energy, Queen of Pentacles. Now I feel like, again, they want to come in here, hoping for a fiery, passionate new beginning. And the Queen of Pentacles can be a spousal energy as well, or a commitment or something to that effect. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. They want to make you so happy now. Um, Aquarius, Leo energy here. Wow. The world, so definitely a new cycle here. Chariot, successful movement forward, drive ambition balance, success victory, could be moving or traveling as well. And now we do have the king of wands, so we do have a match. Now we have Leo again. Doesn't matter the um, element um, that is a match. So there's no doubt there is a lot of attraction, fire, passion here. But uh, we have that brand new beginning in love here, success and victory. They're a little unsure, you know, but I think they're somehow going to get the message to you. Let's just clarify the fail, uh, failure. What is that about? Yeah, the fool. They're going to take a leap of faith anyway, whether it's a failure or not. They're going to do it. Aquarius energy here. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Yep. So, and this is the minor of um, like Libra to me. So, you know, balancing of the scales here. So I definitely feel like here, um, Aquarius, you may be getting, somebody may actually like give you maybe like a letter, letter, like maybe even like a handwritten letter from this person or something, because somebody here, I feel like, um, I mean, we didn't get the energies of like totally cutting somebody out, but that's kind of what I feel here. Um, magician, new beginning. King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like this is going to happen. Somehow the message is going to get to you. Either maybe um, somebody's blocked somebody. They won't hear somebody out. They don't want to hear it. Somehow the message will get to you that this person um, wants to make you very happy now. All right. So it's really going to be up to you, Aquarius. Uh, the full energy here is Aquarius. So take a leap of faith towards Aquarius. And they don't care if it's going to be a failure. All right. Well, let's see. This could be about putting commitment on the table now. And that's a solid offer right here at the Page of Pentacles. That's what they have to offer now. But I feel like maybe if they've been blocked or somebody doesn't want to hear it and they're like, I, I just want to tell you, you know, I I want to give you what you want. I want to make you happy. I want this now. All right. So we do, do have friendliness here. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Could have started out as a friendship, spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Hmm. This person may want to be very spontaneous now um, as well. You may not be expecting this either. All of a sudden someone just hands you a letter or something like that. Self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Okay. Maybe this person didn't have enough self-love. 
evolution you realize that the obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love so this does have the energy here to evolve to make you very happy if you choose to um aquarius Right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out your February readings. Go to the community tab. Lots of polls. I've been putting up a daily poll to vote on as well. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.